Hello, I'm Linda Ann, video creator for Color Art, color at colorart.com. Today I'm going to take a Hobby Lobby bargain that I found on the clearance rack, this um, wa wooden wall hanging, and I'm going to use radiant gels to transform this wall hanging into something more beautiful. Little storage tip here, I store my Color Art products on Lazy Susans, and that way I can stack them all up when I get finished. Um, I store these upside down so I can see the names of the colors. If I make sure each rack is setting on top of each other squarely, I can store about four to five racks high and pull out what I need. I like that this uh, wall hanging already has the hanger on it. Everything's going to be ready to go when I finish painting. I begin with olive vine on this and then realized, what am I thinking? I really need to cover up the white before I start putting any colors on it. So I took some just regular acrylic black flat paint, uh, the most inexpensive kind that I could find, and brushed it on top of that uh, ampersand sign to make it disappear into the background. I don't want to have to compete with that and put so many layers on. I want my layers of shimmering paint to show up and I love working with color art over black. When I'm all finished I'll set this aside to dry. All of the shiny has disappeared and I'm ready to begin painting with my radiant gels. Here's a fun color. It's called Copper Pearl and it looks white in the bottle. Uh, there's all the pearl colors look rather whitish in the container, but watch what happens when I begin painting. It appears to go on white, but as it begins to dry, the copper, sur uh, the copper color surfaces more and more and more, and when this is like totally dry, you're going to see a nice little coppery finish here. I'm just scattering little rectangles of color all over the uh, surface of this board, here and there, and I connected one of them. I don't think it really matters at this stage because this is the first layer, and I'm going to be doing a whole lot more layers. I'm just about out of this next color. It's called Indian Copper, and I use a lot of this. Uh, you can see that it's darker than the first cop copper, and the first copper is still drying. So these will go even uh, more brilliant and more shimmery as I go. And I'm going in between the other paints, making more rectangles. Eventually, this whole board will be covered in very small rectangles, because anywhere that I have a large rectangle, I will be going over it with other paints. On the next color I'm using is Emperor's Gold. And again, I'll go in between covering all, up all the black. I'm leaving the black on the sides, at least for now, but I'm going to cover the whole top surface of this board. This may look similar to one of the colors I've already used, but when it's dry, there's a distinct difference between the colors. Most of the canvas is colored at this point, so I'm giving it a little help with my embossing heat gun to uh, dry before I start the next layers. Actually, these radiant gels dry very fast, so it wouldn't take long just to wait on them to dry. I'm touching some areas up with another layer of the copper pearls. This time, I'll form smaller rectangles on top of the existing ones. Surely, you didn't think I was going to go very far without going to my Guatemalan green. Because these are shimmery paints, sometimes the colors don't show up the way I'm seeing them. I see a little more blue in this. This looks more green on the surface here, but it looks just a little bit more turquoise to me than it shows up right now. And uh, I made fairly big rectangles this time, which is fine because I'm going to continue going over it with smaller and smaller rectangles. Olive Vine is a color that I also highly recommend. You can use it for foliage, and it's just this most luscious shade of green. And um, I'm placing the small rectangles this time. 
and going back with small rectangles of that yummy Indian copper. At this point I've changed to a smaller brush and I'm dabbing on really small uh, rectangles of Vavum Red. Vavum Red is a red-violet color. And since I'm just working up the background, it's giving me just a little bit of uh, variation in the background. I'll continue layering the colors that I have already used with a smaller and smaller stroke until I create an impressionistic type of background. As pretty as this is becoming, uh, it's very tempting just to leave it like this to hang on the wall, but I have other ideas for it. This is an acrylic sealer that I stored in a jar. I had a really large container of this, and I stored it in this jar to make it easier to pour, and I don't remember the brand name, but any good acrylic sealer is going to work, and I just poured a little on the center, and start brushing it out all the way to the edges. Uh, I go over it several times back and forth to make sure it's thoroughly covered and then I slide my uh, brush gently over the entire canvas top to bottom so that I'll make sure that the brush marks aren't too... Uh, I don't want them texturized. This entire board had a dull finish on it so I'm going to go ahead and put this on the sides where the black, it, where it's still black on the sides and I'll let this dry and come back and finish. I actually waited till the next morning to start uh, finishing this so it's thoroughly dry and that's a good thing. You might notice that I've added my little tier of Silks Acrylic Glazes right on top of my Radiant Gels in their little Lazy Susan and now I'm using a stencil. This stencil is from uh, Deco Art. I need to be sure that my hanger is in the right direction so I want that at the top and I'll place the stencil on. But when I get to the stencil I realize that I've, I've got a problem. This is not the way I wanted it. I wanted the tree to be dark and the background to remain light. So my tree and my background are completely reversed. I've got to figure out what to do. But there's always a solution. So don't get discouraged when things don't turn out like you think they ought to. And my solution was to go to the Silks Acrylic Glazes and I'm going to choose the black color and I'm going to spread this on my canvas really quickly. Now I started with it just a little bit watered down and realized that that was not working very well. It wasn't covering quite as much as I wanted to cover. I don't care if it covers everything, but I want it to cover up most of the background. I know that silks are a soft acrylic, so I know they can be moved later, but I want to remove a lot of them through this uh, stencil. And you see, it will remain black behind the tree if I put this on. And will it pick up some paint and remove, stick to the stencil? Yes, it probably will, and I think that's going to be a good thing because I want it to kind of sparkle. So I'm going to use my baby wipes, and I will just start wiping away the exposed areas around the tree. And you see, that's gonna leave the tree dark. So this is what I was hoping for. I wanted a silhouette against a lighter background. This is working and it's coming off very easy with the baby wipe, it's still wet. And because it is a soft acrylic, uh, that means that it's movable when it gets wet. But as I said, I wanted to remove almost all of it. So I continue to work pulling away all of that paint and sometimes I have to stop and change baby wipes. Get a clean one and I just continue wiping it away and you know what there are parts of this tree that I'm not really crazy about the stencil design on so I'm actually going to fix that when I lift the stencil. But let's see what it looks like. Just a few more cleanup areas and we'll pull the stencil off and see what happened. Oh, I am liking this. I'll take the stencil to the sink and clean it up. If you don't have a sink in your studio, I suggest that you have a pan of water by you so you can just dip these and continue to work. If you keep them wet, then there's no problem. And we can continue to work here now. 
So I'm going to wipe away some of the areas that I don't like and fix those areas and I'm going to come back uh, with some paint on a paintbrush to fix it. This is blobby looking to me. I didn't like that area. So I took that out and uh, I can come back and fix it with a paintbrush and shadow in just a little bit of the tree if it's not quite as dark as I want it in places. And that's all there is to it. Oh, this stencil didn't quite fit the board. It was shorter. So I will be extending the tree downward uh, of my own accord, doing it, doing my own painting to extend the tree down. But it covered most of it really fast. I didn't have to worry about going in and, and making the tree myself. I can always wipe away things that I don't think look good and fix them to look a little better. When I get completely finished with this, I'll take it outdoors and I will use a varnish on it it's a spray varnish. I use Windsor & Newton Artist Retouching Varnish uh, and it's for a variety of materials. It's for oil, uh, it says alkyd, and acrylic colors. So that's a good all-around spray to use and that way it won't disturb my colors when I spray it on. I don't, I won't worry about my silks running when they get wet. It just works. So I hope that if you have not subscribed to Color Arts Channel and to my personal channel, that you will do so. Um, it's just a little subscribe button, and I will put the links for all of Color Arts' fantastic things that they do, and uh, my personal links. I'll put those down in the description box. You just go to below the video, click on Show More, and that will bring up everything in the in the description box, and you'll be able to. Uh, take those links and either copy and paste or click on them to go to the various links that I'm listing. I want to remind you that Color Art has a Facebook page. You'll see that in the links. They have a Facebook group where you can uh, show what you've done with the Color Art paints. And I have a Facebook group and so just check all those links out. I want to thank you for watching. I'd appreciate it if you would share give me a thumbs up. I'd really love the comments and subscribe to our video channels. Thank you for watching.